The number of automobile brands and car types have been increasing in the Philippines as we speak. And sometimes it can be a little bit confusing. Like, what is between an electric vehicle and a hybrid EV? Does it actually have a positive impact on the environment? Hi guys, it's CJ here of Yugatech, and today we'll have a short explainer about these types of electric vehicles like the BEV, hybrid, and PHEV, and which one suits your needs. So without further ado, let's get things started. So, what is a battery electric vehicle or a BEV? As the name suggests, it's a car that runs entirely on electricity stored in batteries. The Hyundai Ioniq 5 or 6, all Tesla models, are some examples of BEVs. These cars typically have a straightforward fundamental design, an electric motor that uses a rechargeable battery to power up the wheels. Consider it similar to a smartphone or any other device that runs on batteries. This usually entails unplugging it from the power charger to start your day, using it until all of its power is gone, and then charging it again overnight. One of the most highly marketed benefits of full EVs is the reduced carbon emissions. Additionally, an electric motor is far quieter than a conventional combustion engine. At most, the drivers will just hear a whir sound. Manufacturers have created workarounds by mimicking engine noises over the speakers, even though this might be an uncomfortable experience for some. Electricity tends to be less expensive than fuel. This can be a big lure for individuals to transition to EVs, especially when combined with government incentives. One of these are exemptions from number coding that are also given to hybrids. However, there can be no pros without some cons. There's this thing called range anxiety. During travel, especially out of town trips, Users need to keep the EV's range in mind, much like how you get a little freaked out when your smartphone battery starts to drop below a percentage level you're comfortable with. The plan must also account for stops where the car can recharge its batteries even if the destination cannot be reached directly. In the US, for example, there's a network of charging stops via the Tesla Supercharge map. This may lead to inconvenient stopovers and longer routes overall. Plus, even the fastest EV charges today won't outpace the sheer speed of just refilling up gas to a full tank. While more robust charges will still take 30 to 60 minutes, it may take a full night to charge the battery using a household power outlet. Battery deterioration also starts to play a role after thousands of cycles of use. Even if portable battery pack technology has improved significantly in recent years, it's still susceptible to aging. Most studies show a 1-2% to reduction in battery capacity per year. Considering that the majority of automakers estimate the battery should last around 10-20 to 20 years, this comes to about 10-40%. to 40%. Despite that fact, EVs haven't gone mainstream for a long time, long enough that most users don't usually consider replacing their EV's battery. This could be another disadvantage because, while electricity itself could be cheaper, replacing batteries of EVs is extremely expensive. But what about hybrids? Cars with a hybrid system, or HEV for short, aim to make electric vehicles more accessible. It's regarded as a practical choice for consumers who want to enjoy certain benefits of EV instead of only relying on electric motors, HEVs carry a lower-powered version integrated with a traditional fuel engine. The two power sources work in tandem to propel the vehicle. There's no need for a gas-consuming petrol or a diesel engine, as the electric powertrain provides sufficient assistance, so users can just use a less thirsty specification to gas up the car. This leads to fuel savings for the gasoline engine when compared to a fuel vehicle without electric assistance. And did you know HEVs utilize this so-called regenerative braking? The science behind it is transferring kinetic energy and heat from a mere braking, then storing it as a battery charge. There are many different kinds of hybrid systems available. Certain hybrid cars can even operate entirely on their electric motors for a short amount of time. Some manufacturers, however, build mild hybrids which cannot run on battery power alone. That's because these types of cars are equipped with small electric motors, mainly just to provide assistance to the usual fuel engine improving efficiency and reducing carbon emissions. HEVs look to be the most appealing option because of their fuel efficiency benefits and the lack of range anxiety. Some examples of HEVs are Toyota Altis Hybrid, RAV4 Hybrid, and GW and Havail Jolion. Meanwhile, the Suzuki Ortiga Hybrid, Geely Okavango, and Mazda CX-60 or 90 are a few well-known mild hybrid cars that you may be familiar with. So, 
Is there a hybrid that you can plug in? Good question. There is, but they're not as common. This variant is dubbed the plug-in hybrid, or PHEV for short. Both the gasoline engine and the onboard electric motor or battery are designed in such a way that they can carry the weight by itself. Both the gasoline engine and the onboard electric motor or battery are made to carry their weight on their own. Of course, they may work better together, but they may also function on their own. When compared to a standard hybrid and EV mode, the onboard electric battery offers a significant range, from 50 to 100 kilometers. Until you can take into account that the PHEV's battery can only be recharged externally. Until you find another source of power, the car will function like a typical internal combustion gas burner after the battery runs out of electricity. And yes, it can also employ regenerative braking. Examples sold in the country include the Mitsubishi Outlander PHEV, Cherry Tigo 8 Pro, and Bike B30 E Dune. So that's it for today's content. Did you find this video helpful and informative? If you do, hit that like button notification bell to get more updates on our latest videos. Don't forget to follow us on our socials at Facebook, Instagram, X, and TikTok. And visit us on our website at yukitech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. Once again, this has been CJ, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!